Play Store. Compre, venda e faça upgrade de skins com os melhores preços do Brasil. Venda suas skins e receba seu dinheiro de forma rápida e segura, com pagamento à vista para qualquer banco. Acesse agora playstore.com comes through though KNG is actually here to help out as Mayern's able to pick off one from up on top of ticket KNG just about smoked off by that can't catch the angle down towards bottom or top middle I should say as Steel's able to fade away but the flank was there from Fur to catch him off putting it into a three versus five bomb planted but Chaos are losing players left right and center and as MIBR storm back onto the bomb site their best chance here is Whippy he picks up one tucks away in the corner a little bit more damage done but unfortunately it's just not an Nice kill by Fur. He's going to back off. Molotov towards the bottom of the window, making sure nobody boosts up. But Whippy's going to be a problem for him. Coming in through the kill hole, and he finds it in the vents. There's a four versus four. This is the best Chaos have looked so far. Now they need to move it further. They need to do something off the back of that kill. The player that's pivotal for the fast rotations to bomb sites is gone. They've thrown a Molotov very early on in the van, trying to push someone out of position. Ben spots the shoulder. Didn't realize it at first, but still catches KNG off guard. Taco looking to find it, and he gets a second on the back of the bomb site. He's the lone defender. His teammates on the rotate over now in the window. Mayern's going to be able to provide support, but Taco's doing it all by himself with a 3k T spawn. He's just sitting watching for the B push, which has already come through. He's running, and Taco's in position to take this down, punish it. A little bit awkward there, but he does find it in the end. Putting down the smoke, KNG's up on top. Ramp is smoked, so he doesn't give a damn. Eventually, he's going to have to fall back from there, though, as you see the ramp smoke start to fade. Sheikzula fades on through it. Mayern's not in a position to cover it, but he's just been spotted. He knows Mayern's underneath, though, so Sheikzula takes that frag. Bomb moving up towards the bomb site. This is a little bit dangerous for MIBR. First 17 HP, and Taco's not too healthy either. This could flip back. They've given up site control. A little bit of an overextension, though, by Sheikzula, considering he knows that there's an AWP in play in CT, peeking into it with no utility support whatsoever. That's a little bit of a disaster. Now, they didn't have any util to expand, but even still, it leaves Ben now in a one versus four. Yes, the bomb is planted. Not for him. And they're going to clear Sandwich as they move on forward. No problem for them at all. They've even blinded him. He sat there covering his eyes, and he ought to be as Fallen just runs around and takes him down with the AWP towards the B bomb site early on. Smoked off, though. Taco hit by the Molotov. They know he's up close, but Sheikzula's alone. Taco fades out, only taking damage to the Molly. Drops an aid behind him as well to do a tiny bit of damage to Chaos. Lots of noise being heard. They know it's a B push. Rotate's already coming through over in middle. Fallen's able to pick up one. Taco just not expected to be in the close left corner, I guess. Round trying to catch them as they move towards the B bomb site through short. Chaos have got a lot of control. I don't know if this is known by Taco just yet, but he finds them eventually as they take him down. Fallen misses the shot. The B bomb site goes to Chaos. They've lost two players. Health, anyways, and the nade goes through to confirm a kill onto Ben. Nine HP on Sheikh Zula. Surprised he survived that nade, to be honest. As it goes into a 4v3, a retake now for MIBR. The hardest round for them so far. What's going on there? No one's watching the door walk out or even aware of it as Cam and Sheikzula both fall. This is just chaotic. I mean, living up to their name, sure, but not in a good way. They've got Whippy left alive. He picks off one. They know where he is now. A second kill on the board. He's not even that low. He could take this against the two ops. A headshot comes through on a Fallen, and it's KNG all alone to pick this off. He's got a smoke. It goes down. He's going for the defuse inside it. Whippy has to get a... Reload on, but KNG swung wide, misses the shot as well, and surely this round doesn't go to them, going for the ninja inside the smoke, he's 51 HP, KNG's got it though, even despite losing all their players to Whippy, and indeed losing In positions to lob smokes forward, Steel's starting to get a little bit aggressive, now Tilt comes into play hugely here, but he just goes straight out, finds one, they were trying to avoid the flashbangs, but instead, Steel was the one to just fade through that smoke, Molotov goes down on the bench, that stops any re-aggression from MIBR, and they have to give up the bomb site, really, at this point, unless they can get something done from CT, which is completely Molotov'd out. MIBR post themselves up. KNG's in position if any re-aggression comes through from Chaos. They've got a man advantage in the post plant. This should be much easier for them than that B site one was, as they take down Fallen going out for the peak. Good play there from Cam. He was stacked up behind Sheikh Zula, who was crouched in front of him, so he could find it from the ramp. Shots landing for Whippy, and they from towards the B bomb site. There's only one player, it's Cam. And MIBR shifting up. He was late there as well, so didn't hear them. They're so far advanced, and this is going to be a horrible pistol round. They're, they're going for an A crunch, and now they realize as flashes come over, oh, hey, guys, it's B, and we have no one on the bomb site. The short player dies. The rotate's coming through. It's going to take forever. MIBR keep going aggressive, but the decision here should be to stop. 
They've got the advantages. Chaos are spread far and wide, but they're still looking to aggress. Taco's getting itchy feet. Understandably, consider it. <laughs> Goodbye. We just saw Shake Zula get executed out of ammo there. Whippy falls and just a firing range. You would imagine the Steel just says, no, I'm going to push up. Why not? Tucked in on the corner. He believes his teammate when he says two tag top mid. And Steel might get a huge reward for this. Both Fallen and KNG are one hit for him. Meanwhile, he's 100 HP. Has the armor to play with. They've already caught Whippy. Here goes Steel. Swings around. Catches one. He's looking for more towards the top of mid. And he gets it. That's the bomb dropped. AK retrieved with armor as well. Cam looking to get more damage in with Fur and Mayern both so low. And like we said, successful mid aggression. Apologies for the horrendous observing in the... For MIBR, let's see how they approach it. They've gone towards Palace, actually, stacking up the majority of their players. They're already pushing out. A very fast round to come through from the T side. And you can see it catches Chaos off guard, but there's the bomb dropped. The Krieg in the hands of Cam, doing a lot of damage. He's found himself two already, moving up around the smoke. But he hasn't spotted Connector, and that costs him his life as KNG picks him from behind. This could be it. MIBR on the verge of taking a 16th round. Moving forward here, Sheikh Zula gets taken down, and Steel in a 1v3. It's looking impossible, and indeed it proves to be. That is the end of the... Zed works well up close, and he catches off one. The plan works. He's going to play a little bit greedy, try to take that AWP. It's known, though. Bam's going through. Steel picks up the off. Now he's ready up close, playing inside the smoke. CZ comes out. They're running into him, and eventually they realize it. Whippy, staying aggressive though. That smoke is in play. They can peek him close. They've got utility. They can flash him off this. He should be falling back now, playing on the site. They know there's at least two in Banana. What is this play? He's going to be traded out, surely, and indeed he is. They've now lost the B bomb site, and we saw before a one man B hold with a CT position on the AWP, so at least he can find one bail out and then they can play retake, but that just wasn't necessary. They had the man advantage. That was their only weapon as well. They don't rotate anyone into play. I, I can't understand what Chaos were thinking there. Flash over, fade through the smoke, player in pit. Followed and taken down. Aaron pops a flash out, he's gonna swing on it. Of course, there's AWP back, and they're just distracting him. There's a player up close, though, and Fallen's caught off for it. Mayor managing to trade, goes out for more, and Cam falls. Looking I don't even know what that was. Steel picks up two, though, as they push on forward. 18 seconds left. He's swinging out for a little bit more and catches the bomb. This could be a huge play coming through from him. Looking at the smoke just around the edge of it, he hears KNG running inside of it, misses the shot, though. Shake Zool coming up behind, drops the bomb again, and on time he might just win, but the player's waiting in Banana. No, it went so well for them. That's going to be a huge turning point in the round if they can win it. The chaos, but not finding it means MIBR can sit back, wipe the sweat off their brow, and feel pretty happy with how things have gone overall. Push comes up with the flash bang. No flash. But I mean, it says it was going to punch. Used up a lot of utility. They flash over to pull the player back off the angle. Steel goes through and finds two on the CZ. Now here's the, the play. Shake Zula behind the smoke, but he's got an op. A 1v3. Essentially, as his teammate is only coming down banana, or coming down middle at the moment, he backs off. He doesn't want to keep that control. Instead, fur is low as well, so the damage that comes in from the bomb. Oh, they're all tucked in the corner. He hears the reloads. He knows they're there. He's nothing to lose, so he's going to go for this afterwards. There's the explosion of the bomb. He's 34 HP now, but he gets one going in for a second and almost gets it. Really nicely played by Cam. The confidence here is the mid peak comes through. Whippy again going to be the opening duel participant, but unfortunately on the losing end. Fallen goes through with a pick, and look at the confidence now. They're just blitzing through, shooting through their teammates. They don't give a damn as KNG wall bangs Cam through his buddy. The bomb is still on top, uh, bottom mid. They're going to go down and get that, but they're so confident in the fights. The attack goes pushing forward. Now in a 2v3, that was a little bit, a tiny bit, too aggressive for me. The issue here, he could have posted on library and assured that the players coming in through with a bomb could get there safely. Now that's not the case. They have no control of short. Instead, having to post up KNG and meaning the bomb has to come through the apartments, risking being picked off by that op from library as he does so. Still, KNG tucked in. This should be an easy one to shake Zula. Now, Steel should be thinking about saving. Still finds that shot, though, straight onto the head. It's a hard one to hit, especially up against the Krieg, a brave one to take, but 10 to 2. Does he want to go for this? He certainly looks like he does. Molotov's going out about just about everywhere. How many of those things does Knockdown have? Eventually taken down from above the smoke, though. 
this late on, considering that map one more. Oh, no. oh no, that's nasty, Taco. Takes them both down like two or three bullets, and the heads are just being picked off. KNG in with another. Hey, I'll step right up on those early aggressive plays because you're getting nothing with them, and they haven't so far across this series. Down goes Mayer, and a two versus three develops, but MIBR have got the bomb site. They're going to be able to drop that bomb down. And with KNG again. He's played this position quite a bit, but Whippy's not aware of it. He's not ready to go. Oh, the spray down on the uh, Krieg. We saw KNG earlier avoid using it. And now maybe we've seen why. <laughs> why he took the AK instead of the Krieg when it was on the floor. Flash through, but unfortunately that just gives away the fact that they don't have that luxury. They can't be caught off guard. They need a flawless 11 rounds in a row. Coming out, it starts off well with Myron falling, but he gets, gets a trade with a Molotov of all things. Around the smoke, Taco's playing. He's got a 1v4 on the bomb side. As they push forward, the spray down is there and he drops the bomb. Two versus two. This is going to be a long, drawn-out round. The bomb plant goes down inevitably. Famas and an AK in play. Fur. Cut off. Whippy lands that kill. Molotov in play, fall and pushes through. And he catches one though, and Sheikh Zula falls. No utility to play with, has to take the duels. He has no idea where Whippy is. Last spotted in second mid, presuming he's coming through the apartments, but he's wrong. Pushes the bomb, but there's the swing immediately from Whippy, knowing that he's got a chance. Go lobs a molly through with 30 to 3 penis. No chance of peeking inside the steal. Dying to that SMG. Look at the damage done to Whippy. I think it was a molly as well. He's so low. Finds one still. Pushes up. Sees the player close left and lands that shot. Even further extending it as Chaos now have the B bomb site. Sheikh Zula coming up behind. He's rushing through. Will he be hurt? He's being hurt. Taco knows he's up close. What are you doing, Sheikh? Giving away that advantage. They were nervous because one player has to plant the bomb and both are low. The Sheikh thought he had to move fast. The problem now is that's the only player with full HP dead. Whippy's been spotted. Lobs a molly through. Trying to delay time. They push him and he lands it. Beautifully with the AWP. It was needed. 4 HP. Taco has no idea how low these players are. Waits for the peak to come through. Whippy, what are you doing? He plays so aggressive there with the time ticking away. There was no need. There's just enough time now if he can find his fight. Ben takes his knife out for God's sake. Taco's found it. KMG, not able to catch it, pushed off by the flashback, goes back into the re -peak. Whippy was holding for the op, but missed the shot, or didn't land, get it off in time. They don't know Fur is here, they assume it's clear, he's gonna drop the bomb, oh, hello, he catches the bomb planter eventually, shakes Zula falls, Ben is out as well, and Steel has to recover it, he can't do it, that is it, Chaos have been eliminated, am I?